So what we looking at is a plagiarization of the revering of life. Also known as lights. Lights shine, penetrate cracks, all of that. But the ritual with the Pawnee people, with the Indians, the old image, that original ritual became a sacrifice when the foreigners retained the information of the native people of that land because originally they revered the lights the stars the sun the moon the planets so to speak when the foreigners infiltrated that part of the land at the time they did They had already learned engineering, altering, math, thoughts. They learned how to engineer the thought. What the thought appeals to. And that would be kind of like instant gratitude is a form of reward for the thought because that's how thought works. If you align yourself with what you're trying to complete it gets complete reward the physical physical manifestation of that thought so when these these backwards thinking people met these people they kept journals learning their ways because Coco Pelli like I said turned into a man in the physical sense after the information was retained from the original Turtle Island people Coco Pelli Let's break it down. The Piru. All right, the cacao or the cocoa is brown, right? Now, how these people think, we got to call it black, like how he's feel. The pale. P-E-L not P-A-L-E is feel P-E-L is to feel so literally when these people came and plagiarized on top of rewriting and rearranging the oral history opposed to the literature Coco Pelli meant or resembled the devil because and we know the devil don't exist you've been here we um, we don't do the do that here we do the energies because that's where the spookism come into play and this is where the 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 people get out of their mind and then start thinking, hey, sacrifice actually makes sense. But in real reality, it don't. So, they would be, they would kidnap these little girls from other villages. that sound like the ways of a colonizer or a, a person that want to be in control 
because the mind states of these people it's like we doing a ritual to the energies right and picture we deep into the ritual right is it, we performing everybody in role and the priest actually all right at at this point where they got the person on the in between the two trees not the two thieves the two trees not the two thieves the cross symbolize the, the the infinite entanglements of and connections of the energies man of the of the ether of the the thread of life and it does that here on the earth hence why they got dude in the middle on a cross and it looked like a uh it looked like Mama Ama with her arms spread out, but but when the priest they would be dancing for five days, the thoughts of these of the of the of the um of the one the little girl that's captured because it said only way a man would end up on these crosses by way of if he was a revolutionary or he just actually just did some did some did some wrong at this point in time but remember at the beginning i said this ritual turned sacrifice was to revere the lights because we receiving light impulse from the higher ups they are not beings so when they kidnap the little girl at night time from another village if the priest wasn't okay with them sacrificing like he had some guilt or uh he feel confined by what they just did and for five days they brainstorming on crops they wanted to rain because this this is uh a ritual so this is connected with the rain dance and the point of you doing a ritual is to bend the light like Coco Pelly is now he's bent playing the music he's bent shooting the voice through the ether he's he's bent bent or at an at an angle like a a like a earth he got the arch because he's that he's that protection in a false sense in a metaphorical sense to 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 the to the foreigners because the foreigners know all they doing is just playing a part they playing a part to get to get their mission accomplished because these are missionaries these are people who 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 took oaths to become to to go on these missions they saying they can bring back more more goods and resources but in the but in the faces of these Indians they acting so interested in 
and and and, and, and so intrigued by these people and re, and giving them kudos in the books they writing for the thoughts that they having just to go behind their back and corrupt all of the teachings that they got taught. And that would be, un that's ungrateful. That's ungrateful energy. So then, now we pay attention to, <clears throat> we pay attention to these planes now. And like Egypt and all of this stuff where real usurpation and went on. Barely any crop grow. Uh, is barely inhabitable and that's the plan tear these people shit down tell them that they that it's scarcity but it's really not you you, you create a uh impoverished environment because poverty don't exist it's just made up shit that area people trying to classify stuff and we take their definitions and run with them but back to coco pelli and his his uh fake his fake reverence you see how coco 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 was was brown like i was saying he's filled with the dark He's filled by the dark. He's black. When you really feel with the light. Why they were doing this ritual. And why they had to come. Cut it off. Because these people. Just are the. Some people are just parasites. You can't put your finger on. What he were people. Or a person. Is a is a parasite most likely this person would be a parasite because they don't know how to apply their parasite they don't know how to apply the angles and the, the, the info to where it'll help them and they can lead a whole a whole nation of people because like I said Coco Pelli it's filled with the dark. So what what in reality life is dwelling in the dark. Life is the light in the dark. So you would be shining in the place where you was made up at. This is why they are this is why we revere the lights. As soon as the light shows itself it ain't dark no more soon as somebody shows you or you become aware to something that's the light being on you not being passive in the dark not saying nothing because you can't miss it now in our ritual going from power to nothing now other people using our rituals now because they know energy and when they start making them schools like the college of late Laco like the college of late Laco they erase this erase the energetic part of life out of it Where's the shock? Where's the where's the the connection? And two, one more. The God that was first revered uh, uh, for hanging, hanging, the hangman represented how we come to this earth. We come to this earth meet meeting. But we hung by the crown chakra, not 
from around our neck. It's from the top of our head. And from from that hanging, all information is traveling from the heavens to the plain. Odin, the one-eyed Greek god from Yggdrasil or whatever. Valhalla, Odin, they know what they revering their energies, the people that they deem the ones fit to say this is the god of this and this is the god of that when what is that? What are we talking about? The invisible cord would be the noose or the sun. giving vibrational radiance to the being, life, giving it light. And the moon, the moon is the noon. It's the noon. That sound close to noon. Noon at 12 midday. The moon is the egg storing all the recycled energy. Hence why it light up ultra white, ultraviolet. It's housing all of the energies storing them making sure that they go down the right path to be recycled to do this 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 earth thing again the moon is part of that is the central nervous the optical lens that crystalline substance and we've been through this we've been through this storing the newcomers But that's it for right now. We tearing that deception up.